So salutations, oh, everyone. It's time for a trial by fire. One of my actual literal favorite quests in Giants in Giant Hold. There, there's two, evil. and we're gonna do both of them I here back to back. But gut. this I quest and the Maze of Madness if we are, not are literally two of my favorite quests. Maze of Madness and maybe on the short list for one of my favorite quests in DDO and period. But this quest is definitely one of my favorites in Giant Hold. It's It's not the challenge that it once was, for sure. But this was one of the first uh, quest, in my opinion, to kind of. This door has not been used in quite some time. Let's see if this breaks open doors. All right, so we have found a flaw in our plan here. We don't have a way to break open doors. I don't want to have to sit here and unlock these locks every time. Do we? Do we still have our? Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner, go us. Put it all the way over here on the end. Um, this used to be one of the quests that you, uh, one of the early quests to see if you were good enough to like, make it, if your character could solve this, this area. Um, I don't know if it was for everybody else, but this was just like one of the, the proving grounds quests. Like, oh yeah, I... Level 13, solo, solo this on Elite, whatever. Um, and then of course it turned into a solo on Reaper, level 13. But now, what the change is, obviously we don't have to, we do it at 15 and call it a day, but I don't know, it's, it used to be, it used to be one of those like, at least for me and my guild in particular, I guess. Just so you know that your your character is, is in a spot at that level that it can contribute to the quest and knock things out if you can solo this bad boy. And we don't. I don't feel like unlocking doors, so we'll just smash them open with the trusty hand of the two. I think there's a reason why we didn't get rid of it. We'll have Durham come down here and kiss our boot. Another fun fact about this quest is, again, back in the days of when invisibility was actually good for something, you could invis and do what they call make the run, and you could run around, um, and open that front door, so then a lot of people that could not quote unquote make the run. Uh, could stay stay at that back door and just like skip a whole bunch of the fight. Um, sometimes I I can't remember. I think there was they uh, I'm thinking here how to put this. They had not completely nerfed invisibility before they added dungeon alert. So sometimes you would you would still end up dealing with a high dungeon alert in places. So then the group would still have to like come out and, and do all sorts of weirdness to, to clear dungeon alert. But generally, generally it was a pretty quick way to, to get everybody through the quest. Quote unquote, making the run. And this, a lot of these quests have a deep history that stand out. Um, because it was such an, it is, always was and still is such an enjoyable quest. Remington is getting ready for work. You can tell by the, the stomp, stomp, stomping of giant feet. Get out of the way. 
troll hurls a large, bulky object into the castle and turns knocks an arrow. All right. So basically, what we have done right now is what a bit what would have been considered the run, except the run would be we would kill nothing this and open this door. Clear view of the lair entrance of the fiery chase. I always like opening this door. Uh, there's a. There's a quest objective. It's like look look down here from up there. And I just always feel like if I go up there and open that door, that gives me an opportunity to D-door and get that loot chest if I if I decide to. As well as it makes sure that I get that, that quest objective. There's nothing worse than running through the quest and realizing that you missed something stupid like that. Uh, at the very end and you have to run back through the quest or worse yet uh, start back over again from the beginning because you're at a point of no return like you can be in this quest if you don't have access to the door This guy tend to just get to chase me back in the hallway, best of my ability. You have a little shrine action right there, if you're, if you're interested. Stand up here and clear trash all day. Want to. Plenty of trash to be cleaned. Uh, you can also just go jump straight down the hole. I've taken to cleaning trash just to uh, make sure that I keep my dungeon lord down. Archers don't matter, so you don't have to worry about that, but everything else it does. Also, there's an opportunity to pick up some champs from time to time. Champs are sweet. As you drop down, you hear a troll barking orders. Alright, let's fire off our big boost. I don't it doesn't matter. This quest is this guy will not be around that long. Alright, twenty-two thousand and four hundred and fifty-three Reaper experience for what do you think? Eight minutes? Seven minutes and thirty-eight seconds. Pretty close close. Not bad. And like I said, we'll uh, go back through and pick up our extra chest that you can get any number of times, but I like to get it here. Boop. Put it at the end. And the real reason why I come through here it has nothing to do with the treasure chest and everything to do with the collectible bag or the collectible point, which happens to be a bag. Come here, adventures pack. Ah, oh, here we go. There you are, sweet, sweet adventures pack. A romantic sonnet. How sweet. Alright everybody, so what? That guy's got a line sh line of sight to me. That seems unlikely, but okay, we'll just fall down another level then. Alright everybody, so that was Trial by Fire. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. Again, please smash those like, subscribe, follow buttons. I appreciate it greatly. And uh, please, if you get the opportunity, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, to... Uh, Visit us live on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Samus Alright everyone, have a great day and we'll see you again real soon. Toodles.